When working on really large sessions in Pro Tools, I find that the tracks window is super handy in helping me organize my tracks, selecting, and showing and hiding my tracks. You can see when sessions get really big and they're all minimized, you don't see the track names. It's harder to select them and move them around as you have to do a lot of scrolling where this tracks window can show a lot more tracks at once. You can see the full names and you have a lot of other cool things that you can do within the window. For example, you can hide tracks by just clicking on the black dot to the left of these tracks and what's even cooler is you can actually click and drag across a lot of tracks to show or hide them. So for example with me I like to organize my projects so that I have all of my auxiliaries that have effects on them at the top of the project. So if I want to hide them I can quickly click and drag across all of them and then they're no longer showing up in my edit window and then if I want to bring them back in I can click and drag to bring them all back in. And same thing, uh, since I have all my drums together, if I do want to go through and hide my drums real quick, I can just click and drag, and now they're all hidden, and then to bring them back, I can click and drag again, and they are back. You can also see which tracks are made inactive, too, in this window, because they will show up as italicized on the names of them, so that you can know that... Um, they're currently inactive. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and hide those tracks again since I'm not using them. And I actually want to move them out of the way. So I selected both of these by clicking on one, holding down shift as I clicked on the second one. And then I'm just going to click and drag them all the way up to the top of the session. And although we won't see any shifting here, you can see if I bring them back in, they did in fact move to the top of the session. So showing and hiding tracks is very nice. The next thing is selecting tracks. And you can see as I'm selecting tracks in this window, we're seeing the uh, edit window also select the same tracks at the same time. Now, a cool trick I found that if you hold down Command on a Mac and you click on tracks, you can click and drag across a lot of them to select them. And you can click again on a selected track to unselect them. So it becomes super easy to select a lot of tracks that you want to use.